you told me a year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion, I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. I've never been great with authority. How long are we gonna keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. Okay, and what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow and yours too. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar. The only stick you've got is the one we allow you to wield. So I'm gonna break it and go to NXT. Do this and you will be in breach of contract. The consequences will be enormous. Oh, I bet they will. If I'm Triple H, I'd look at the GM of SmackDown alienating the WWE Universal Champ so bad that he goes AWOL to another brand as a real negative in his next performance review. I wonder if Adam Pearce is available. You're going to regret this. You first. The rumors on social media were true. It's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion here on NXT. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the WWE Universe. SmackDown GM The Miz must be having a panic attack. I'd be too if my champion fled to another brand. We'll have to see if this is a one-time appearance or a more permanent move. Hey there, champ. Wasn't expecting to see you here tonight. I guess you don't read social media much. Eh, I try not to. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Justine. I was a big fan of your work back in the day, and that comeback run with your niece was certainly memorable. Thanks. That was the point. Anyway, not sure if you've heard, but I've transitioned into a behind-the-scenes producer role here in NXT. So I can tell you that your request to have a match here tonight has been officially approved. 
Yeah, I actually already saw Shawn Michaels posted that. Maybe I do need to start paying more attention to social media. Nonetheless, we're excited to have you here at NXT for tonight. And maybe more long term? What exactly is your plan? You sound like everyone else on the internet. But sorry, can't give you any scoops. I'll tell the world what I plan on doing here after my match. Fine. Good luck out there. And welcome to NXT for however long that ends up being. Well, look who it is. The high and mighty undisputed WWE Universal Champion himself has graced us with his presence here in NXT. I don't really know you, Grayson, but I assume that was sarcasm. Of course it was. You can walk in here with your fancy title, but I need you to understand that I'm the man around these parts, mate. Look, I get more than anyone what it takes to be a champion, so I respect what you've accomplished across multiple brands in WWE. There's no need to get defensive. I'm the NXT Champion, so I'll get however I want to get. And by the way, I'm also the biggest box office superstar ever. So why are you even here on my show, trying to glom onto the Grayson Waller effect, I presume? <sighs> I've been getting that question a lot. But sorry, champ. You're gonna have to wait along with everyone else to find out after my match. One of the UK's best exports. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 175 pounds, Tyler Bates. Well, how about this? The first and last NXT UK champ in the building. Well, Tyler Bates is always down for a fight and always ready to get it on. Master Bate has remarkable poise to go with the flow. Few competitors can match Bate's in-ring fundamentals. Indeed, a guy who knows his game inside and out. Tyler Bate can keep it high class in textbook or get down and dirty. And the Universal Champion steps into a new battleground here in NXT. From Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 280 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Ultimate Hero, Gary Williams. I certainly would not have predicted we'd see the champ end up here. Nobody would have, but I guarantee there isn't an NXT fan anywhere who's complaining.
Here's something you don't see every day. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion is having a match on NXT. Well, while we're certainly excited, there's one person who isn't, and that's SmackDown GM, The Miz. We don't know the champion's intentions here in NXT, but we do know Miz has already filed a complaint to Triple H and the board of directors regarding the champion's appearance tonight. We'll have to see how that all plays out. Boom! Fist drop! Uh-oh, double underhook. Tiger ball into the cover. Stop the ref count before two. Those one counts getting harder and harder to kick out of. Put into the corner now. Oh, oh and a shoulder right to the midsection. He's reeling, slowly getting up. He leaves the ring, but he could lose this match by count out. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Oh, it's not going to be good. This is not going to be good. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, that was nasty. Compressing the neck with that kind of force can't feel good. Ah. Omega driver. He's absorbing some tough hits now. They've definitely taken their lumps at this point. Their opponent is not messing around. First. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. Scooped up. Look out. Mention of Goo Driver. An unrelenting assault being brought to Bait. Bait has to find an opening and respond. Punch lands. Hard right hand. What are we going to see here? Uh oh. Spiking DDT. Shining wizard. That's right, Corey. That was a shining wizard. Scooped up. Look out. Mention of Goo Driver. The advantage now is squarely in his corner. It's obvious to see how focused he is now. Oh, Bate was ready for that. Sequence of reversals here. Both superstars clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Beautiful hip toss. No way. Oh, just completely off target there. An absolutely foolhardy decision made there. That could be very costly. Don't know if the risk was worth it. Thrown back in under the ropes. <laughs> belly to belly. Vicious. And what he's looking for here looks like a potential submission maneuver coming. Uh, he's in complete control. Opponent has nowhere to go. Could be tap out time. A normal man would have submitted by now, but not him. Kneeing his way out. And he's free. Can Bate recover from that? Show 
shoulders down. What a victory here on NXT for the WWE Universal Champion. But we still don't know why he's here in the first place. Patience, Saxton. I think we're about to find out. It feels damn good to be here in NXT to compete in front of all of you and finally get away from the Miz. But let me set the record straight and put all the rumors to rest. While this felt good to get my first NXT win, <laughs> it won't be my last. I'm not here just for a one-off appearance. <laughs> no. This, this is bigger than that. Every champion in WWE walks in the shadow of Roman Reigns. Me, more than any other. So I'm here because I want something that sets me apart from the head of the table. Something that Roman never won. And that is the NXT Championship. So Shawn Michaels, if you're looking for a can't miss main event, <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Did the WWE Universal Champion just ask for an NXT title match? I'm not sure how much of an ask that was. He's pretty much forcing Shawn Michaels' hand. Well, I know I'd love to see Grayson Waller go toe-to-toe -to -toe with SmackDown's champion. So would I, but he's going to have to get in line. Waller already has the defense lined up at NXT Battleground. Either way, it's going to be a huge matchup if and when it happens. Well, now we know your plan, and it's really exciting. I mean, other than the several hashtags that are now trending on social media. I thought you said you didn't pay attention to that stuff. I don't, but I am now. And honestly, it's not good. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great that you're here. But you've ruffled a lot of feathers among fans and the NXT superstars who say you've just waltzed in and jumped the line. Their words. Shawn Michaels seemed happy with it. It's a huge match for NXT, but Shawn has had to take several calls from The Miz and his Mizzy and Troy about possible legal action. Not to mention this blowing up our plans for NXT Battleground. This is kind of a mess. I'm sorry you're having to deal with all this. That wasn't my intention, but 
Knowing Miz, he's just full of hot air and it'll all blow over. Okay, but what do I tell the locker room full of angry wrestlers? You can tell them, when I become NXT Champion, I'll be happy to give anyone a title opportunity who feels I skipped the line. Alright, I'll relay the message. After I delete these 17 voicemails from Troy. Man, that guy's annoying. Persistent, but annoying. The moment has arrived. Grayson Waller is ready to defend his NXT Championship against his toughest challenger yet, the WWE Universal Champion. Wait a minute, from behind, it's Wes Lee! Well, Lee was supposed to be next in line to get a title match at NXT Battleground. And it looks like he wasn't content to just complain about it on social media. I think the title match could be off. Any luck getting that uh, justice for Grayson hashtag trending? You should be more concerned with whatever stupidity Shawn Michaels is engaged in on social media. I mean, by the time he logs off and stops granting wishes, you could be in a battle royal next week.
One on one, battle royal, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I'm going to get my title match against you. Fair enough. And just so you know, it wasn't a coincidence running into you here today. I wanted to talk to you about this whole special referee thing. What about it? Honestly, I don't care who wins the bloody match between you and Wesley, but if you're really trying to one-up Roman Reigns, we could help each other out. What are you getting at? Johnny Gargano has been my personal nuisance for years now. So if you go give Gargano a thumping, then maybe I'm not so impartial in your match against Wesley if you get my drift. What do you say? I don't want your help because I don't need it. If you get my drift. Yeah, I get it. And clearly with this idiotic decision, you've drifted way off course from winning the match and getting the title shot against me. In the meantime, I'll be working on my fast counts. <laughs> Crooked ref or not, I'm winning this match. So think of it as your chance to get an up close and personal look at the guy who's gonna take your title. The man charged with keeping things fair, the fairly unjust Grayson Waller. The following is a special guest referee match. Please welcome the special guest referee for this match, Grayson Waller. Who will Grayson Waller favor in tonight's match? Knowing Waller himself, he'll do whatever it takes to put himself in the best position to defeat the winner of this match. Will the Grayson Waller effect have an effect on this match? We're about to find out. Uh, here's an extremely impressive young high flyer. And the participants, first from Dayton, Ohio, weighing in at 183 pounds, Wes Lee. Lee always has the heart of a champion, no matter what. Michael, we have seen that Wes always fights through adversity and faces any problems head on.
jaw-dropping athletic ability when it comes to Wesley. Now, West possesses seemingly endless innovation. You cannot take your eyes off the screen when he's in the ring. And I cannot wait to see what Wesley does next. Galloping into history, defying all odds. It's the Dark Horse. And his opponent from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 280 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Ultimate Hero, Gary Williams. Well, the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. I appreciate the WWE Universal Champion's ambition. He wants to prove a point to Roman Reigns by winning a title that Roman never held. However, if he were to fall short, it would be tremendously embarrassing. No doubt, Michael. And with NXT champion Grayson Waller out here, cover! Come on, the rope is like a mile away. Just call it fair. What a forearm. Thunderous club comes down. Very effective. Big punch finds its mark. And Wes is one step quicker. The springboard attack fails to land. Scissors catch, sucker. And he goes for the pin. Oh, come on. What is he thinking? You had him down where you wanted him. Double chicken wing up and oh, what a gut buster. Now here it comes, the one and only! And Wes can't stop any offense coming his way. Can Wes recover from this adversity? Our guest referee choosing to take matters into their own hands. Hung out to dry across the middle rope. Leg drop, guillotine. And here's a cover! Just kicks out! Finding the power to shake off the pin attempt. The referee showing zero favoritism at that moment. Hey now, is our referee becoming a participant? Run right through with the spear. Counters that. Springboard misses the target. Big forearm. Hard right hand, what are we gonna see here? Uh-oh, spiking DDT. Oh, look at the start of this. Could be going into the playbook for submission. Leg is trapped, there it is. ST Serious struggle, trying to overpower his opponent, firing off elbows. with the feet, and then a stop to the back. Kick to the gut, Oh, brutal forearm. This match may be nearing its limit. Not what you want to see by any means. Oh, with authority, will it be? Let's go. 
Referee is not even trying to count. I was afraid this would happen. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Seriously, and pay attention oh, to the back of the neck, sends their opponent to the middle of the ring. Whoa, handstand into a Pele kick. Wes with a big time move. And they're still in this. Oh, I thought that was game over. Pure guts to kick out there. And keeping attention to the official, I saw no fault in this count at all there. to make a statement. Snap Merritt over. Precise drop kick to the base of the skull. Hoping to end it here. This is it. Yeah, no, he doesn't get the three. And the ref is showing integrity with that count. You can tell the ref has set his feelings aside with a count like that. And Wes is piling on to all the damage he's already handed out. Wes will not yield to anyone at this point. Uh oh Dragon screw. your opponent. And he 
gets set back into the ring. He's positioning himself, closing in. Wards off that offense from West. Bad position for West. Can he take advantage of this? Why did the ref call for a break there? That was completely unnecessary. Scooped up. Look out. Michinoku driver. Does he get him here? And the victory. Here is your winner, Ultimate Hero, Gary Williams. The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. Wesley may be down, but do not count him out. No one comes back harder. I guess they're letting anyone backstage these days. Actually, my pass allows me access to any brand shows. Wow, good for you. Here to watch me win the NXT Championship? No, I'm here to deliver an important message. Miz and his team of high-paid lawyers are putting the finishing touches on a legal motion to strip you of the WWE Universal Championship. Unless you drop this NXT thing and return to SmackDown immediately. If I decide to come back to SmackDown, it'll be you and your annoying boss's lucky day, as I'll be carrying two championships. I doubt that. And no matter what happens tonight, you're going to end up right where you started. Under Mrs. Thumb. You mean, like you? I don't think so.
The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Here he is, the title holder, in search of adding an NXT sized notch on his belt. The dark horse looks like a man confident he's going to be walking out of here needing an extra belt hanger for his closet. Everyone walks in that way, whether they end up walking out having won a title or having lost their pants. It's the NXT Champion hoping he can keep the title firmly within his grasp. Talk about pivotal moments in a career. This could be it for Grayson Waller. Knowing Waller and the amount of confidence he has, he'll be ready for this opportunity. See if Grayson Waller can back up all his self-generated hype. Introducing the challenger from Detroit, Michigan, weighing in at 280 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Ultimate Hero, Gary Williams. And his opponent from Sydney, Australia, weighing in at 206 pounds, the NXT Champion, Grayson Waller! Intensity on the face of the champion. Challenger in the corner. Looking more determined than I've ever seen. Champion versus champion. This is as big as it gets. By beating Grayson Waller tonight, the man who is considered the dark horse of WWE can accomplish something that Roman Reigns never achieved. Grayson Waller doesn't care about any of that. Someone's coming to his house to try to take his title, and he's not going down without a huge fight. Oh, stiff punch. Oh, no. Now possibly setting up for a submission maneuver. Oh, no, this is not where he wants to be. Yeah, but can he roll on his... Kneeing his way out. And he's free. Four European uppercut. Placing them right where they want them, into the corner. And finds a counter. Scissors kick with authority for the title. No, he kicks out. It'll take more than that to hold him down.
clutch is in. Time to... Cocaine clutch, nowhere to go, but there is a way to break it. Uh-oh, double underhook. Tiger bomb. And that horrific force might have taken the champion out. Pulled back into the hip toss. There's a lot of hard ways to land, but that might be the hardest. Run right through with the spear. He's stalking his opponent from the top turnbuckle. From way up. Diving double axe handle. Oh, new champ. The champion with his shoulder up before two. He's far from finished. And he finds an answer for Waller. Belly to belly suplex. The champ looking out of sorts. And hanging tough, but beginning to show some wear and tear. Might want to think about picking up the pace a bit. Inside cradle. Oh, look at this small package. No, he pops the shoulder before three. That was a long two count there. Dig deep and do some serious. Here's the pin. Title on the line. Getting the shoulder up before two. Getting that shoulder up seemed to be pretty easy. And now he's looking to lock in this submission. Impressive display of power. Give up now. Shoulders down now. Is it enough to retain the championship? Quick kick out. I suppose you have to take the shot, but it's still too early to wrap up this one just yet. Grayson falling victim to a surge of attacks here. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. Ooh, jarring right hand. Somersault on Premier. And you heard that collective gasp in the arena after the offense from Waller. Grayson is in big jeopardy here. Going for it again. Shining wizard. Right to the jaw. The title might change hands. And the ref stops the count. Fist drop. Man. Devastating elbow. And up the turnbuckles we go. Oh, look out. What? Adrenaline can make you do crazy things. Exhibit A right there. One. Returning to the ring now. Heading up, he's thinking big. From the top. All the way to the outside. It doesn't matter if you're on the outside of the ring. There is no place safe when you face such a risk taker. Oh, man. Grayson now undertaking a barrage. Waller's got to find a window to fight back. 